What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and it's time for us to play some more indie games. Today we're checking out Dragon Cliff, which is kind of like a micromanagement semi-idle RPG. It's, it's an odd game, but I watched somebody else play it and I actually was kind of enamored with the concept. You guys will know from back a while ago I did another idle game on the channel. I actually really like clicker games, like I have loads of them on my phone. Everything from Cookie Clicker to like Politicats, I've got all of those games like just laying around and I play them. I like them for some reason. For some reason, idle games where you generate like millions of dollars, like, I don't know, adventure capitalist and stuff like that, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. And I don't know why, because they're usually not much of games. This one actually has a lot of stuff going on, and so it's going to be complicated, but let's get started. New game here. This is my first impressions of the game, so hopefully it'll be a good time. Let's dive on in. My lord, our empire is infested with monsters and the emperor is deeply concerned. All the neighboring towns have devoted every resource possible recruiting adventurers and hunting invaders, hoping to attract his majesty's attention. As a poor town with scarce supplies, this monster hunting movement may be our only chance for survival, if we can really meet his majesty's requests. The wooden forest outside of town has long been occupied by orcs. In the last few months, the orcs have been causing quite some trouble for the residents. They steal food, kill animals, harm children, stare at pretty ladies, insert some other generic bad deeds. You know, all those things that bad creatures just can't seem to stop doing. I would suggest that our adventurers explore that area. Okay. Let's go, let's go explore the area. We will enter the level. I was walking around the street and met this muscular man. He claimed that he has a tactic ability. When he showed me, it was impressive. Not sure whether it's the man or the tactic. I'm so confused. Okay. So we've got to do exploration here. We can explore the wooden forest. In my experience, forests tend to be wooden. If there's a drywall forest out there, by all means, like, let me know. So I've got a street man, a drunk reader, and a killer. I only feel like really good about one person in this team for the task at hand, but we'll see what happens. Off they go, racing away to destroy the enemy. So we've got rage. Rage points are accumulated during battle actions. Unleash powerful tactics by spending rage points. Okay. I mean, do your thing. He's got swordsmanship, so we're, like, attacking the enemy right now. It looks like it's using some kind of, like, Star Ocean auto battle system. That's okay by me. I didn't want to click anything today anyways. Do that. Ooh, that dude got whooped on. That dude had a terrible day. Ow, my guy had a terrible day. Never mind. I made a mistake. I messed up. I didn't want it to be like that. I didn't know they were going to be allowed to hit me back. Like, I was unaware that that was how the adventure was going to go. Mmm. Food delivery from the nearby town. That's a really funny way to beg for mercy, Orc. Mm, to eat or not to eat, that's the question. As food, you are mandated to be eaten. I don't care about that. Drunkenness. Apparently, drunkenness is his special skill. I don't know what I expected from triggering that ability, but, you know. I, I went ahead and I went for it just in You know what? Just beat this fool down. Catch him upside his head. That's what I'm talking Get him on another one. Yeah, keep working that dude. Got him. Ooh! Treasure chests. So we've got rarity of chests is significantly boosted. Do I get all of the chests or do I just get one of the chests? Alright, I guess I just get one of the chests. So the prologue is completed. We get 100 wood in order to survive and we get 100 ore, 100 hides, we get a cloth gown and a wooden sword. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and do it. What an encouraging surprise. Our weapon shop and armor shop haven't opened for business for ages. With these materials, we can finally craft powerful equipment for adventurers. Additionally, we've also acquired practice points during our exploration. Adventurers can be leveled up by spending practice points. Every five levels, they get a talent point that can be used to enhance their battle ability. During battles, rage points are accumulated and then can be used to release powerful tactics. My lord, I would suggest you have a look at these powerful tactics. Okay, sounds good. So with practice points, let's try it out. Use any tactic in battle 15 times. Okay, and then we've got collector. If we want to expand our town and get more residents, it's crucial we have a strong economy. Resources collected during explorations can be used to produce equipment, which can be used to equip our adventure team or sold for profit. So we've got to make a weapon and an armor. Okay. So we've got a weapon shop over here. We've got a cloth gown on that side. Are we selling that or are we, like, building this? Oh, we can produce it. Okay. So I guess... I don't know. Produce that? Go for it. We've got four cloth gowns now. Huzzah. That seems useful to me. I don't know if that's the most useful thing we've ever done. But I guess make some wooden swords as well. That might make somebody happy. Uh, over here we've got residents. So our current residents, we've got three out of five. 
I will approve you. Yep, go for it. And then we don't have any more applicants, I don't think. I think we're pretty much good to go. And then we need cash if we wanted to add more vacancies to our residential slot so that more people can live here. So we've got our swords. And we've got our armors. Looks good. As far as the quest goes, we completed that, so we'll go ahead and get it moving. That gave us some rewards right there. My lord! Well, oh no, I'm trying to click on that. There are so many interesting and powerful adventurers in the world. If we keep an eye on our little inn, we can find some epic adventurers to explore exploration and monster hunts. I'm pretty sure I've seen one guy the other day. He could eat ten bowls of noodles in one seating in under 30 minutes. Can you believe that? One seating! Holy shit! My lord, why are you staring at me like that? Oh yeah, my line's right. If we can manage to assemble a group of powerful adventurers, we will win trust from the Dragon Court in no time. All right. So the path to adventure. Let's see here. Tactics, the inn, and so we got to recruit an adventurer, and then we got to sell a weapon. All right. Do people, like, buy the weapons that we've got going on? Oh, we got a staff right there. That's pretty cool. Like, is this our stock? Like, I don't know if this is our stock or not. If it's a wooden sword, how is it made out of ore? I'm a little concerned about this. I mean, I guess we can auto-sell stuff. I don't know. Is that a good idea or is that a bad idea? I don't really know. I guess I'll produce some staves. Why not? So, like, am I getting four staves out of this? It looks like I'm getting four staves out of this. That's my, that's my assumption. We can also make a copper-coated plate. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Make me some more of those. And then my adventurers right here. Can I, like, equip them with stuff? Yeah, give that fool a staff, and then, like, give him a sword, and then, like, he's an assassin, give him a sword, too. Yeah, do that thing. Nice. Okay, so for armor, we can give people cloth gowns, maybe make them a little bit stronger. Like, I don't know if that's going to help out at all. I'd like it if their appearance changed when you put on the gear, but you guys know how I am. We can level people up. Yeah, do it. How many practice points do I have? 150? I guess I'll level up the assassin first, because he seems like the kind of guy that you would want to level up. And so his element is poison. Does he have a talent right now? He has no talents. He only gets those every five levels. Gotcha. Let's go to the adventure menu. And, like, maybe we'll try out the second adventure over here. We've got more teams. Ooh. What about adventurers? Like, where are my adventurers at? So we've got a normal healer who is a missionary. I guess we can hire him. That sounds good. I don't think I, ha I don't have any money. Weak, bro. Okay, so if I don't have any money, how do I sell my objects? I want to sell my objects. There we go. We selling them now. We're selling them. As far as armors go, we've got a bunch of copper-coated plates. Like, do we want these guys to have copper-coated plates? So they lose intelligence for doing that. But, I mean, he's a street man, so... Oh, they've got stats on them, too. Do they have different stats? Oh, my God, they do. They have different stats. Huh. Okay. Do you need intelligence to be an assassin? Because if I don't need intelligence to be an assassin, we might as well just put normal plate on everybody. Then again, there's an epic robe right there, and it's got the same defense as the other thing, so we might as well put that on. That sounds good. Let's do it. What are these over here? Like, what are these little books? What do those do? Oh, it's the help menu. Okay, let's go adventure. We gotta kill some more stuff. It's time for us to murder. It's time for us to go out and get it. Well, at least the weapon changes when you equip it on people. That's good. I wonder if we'll be able to kill these guys or if we're gonna have a terrible day. I mean, thinks it's possible we might have a terrible day. Oh, we're dealing more damage now that we're not using our fists, though, so that's good. Yeah, build up the rage. Build up the rage. We need rage, cage. You know, all the rage in the world. That costs 85 rage. I want to see what that does. One positive effect from enemy units, and then it does something else. What does it do? So we've got 24 resources. What does that do right there? 1,000 knives do it. Ooh, that was pretty awesome. He made it rain swords from the sky. I mean, if I could think of awesome abilities to have, that would be pretty high on the list. we got 24 right there. All right, we're up on the boss. Let's get ready for it. Oh, this time it's like one of these. Or yeah, go ahead and go ahead and whoop one of these dudes real fast if you can. Honestly, I think he's got one of the better abilities. It's cheap, and you can like trigger it as much as you want. Whereas his costs a bunch of money, but it hits everybody. 
So that increases our skill target number. I don't know exactly what that implies. We've got kind of like a Grandia battle system up here too that I didn't even notice until... Well, I saw this up here, but I didn't realize we were on different tracks. I thought that everything just happened. Let's gamble. Let's go. What we got? We got a purple something rather right there. Epic. So we've got a legendary staff, a decorated wand. We've also got the spiritual wand recipe, and we've got a flying feather right there, which is a normal gem. It gives you damage reflection. It also gives you elemental resistance. Nice. Okay. I can live with that. We've got new adventurers over here. Do I have any money? Ooh, that guy's pretty badass. He's pretty good. I think a healer would be a really good idea, though. Like, we could probably use the money. So what can I craft right now? Make me some more, like, coated plates. Yeah, make me a couple of those. And then over here, make me some spiritual wands. I'm feeling spiritual right now. I need some spiritual wands up inside my business. I need to have it. So we've got, like, nothing but normal robes over here. We'll go ahead and sell those off just to get some cash together. Did anybody else notice that our inventory holds 40,000 items? It's kind of crazy, right? I don't know how I feel about that. You equip that because it's a flat upgrade. And then we'll sell that right there so that we get a little bit of extra money. That way we can go back over here and we can hire the healer. Yeah, buddy. And so we've completed that quest right there. That gives us practice points. Nice. Good news, my lord. While you were busy ba building the small inn, I managed to steal or borrow this shiny piece of blueprint from our neighbor town. I'm pretty sure it's the blueprint for a shop. With shop, our small town will be able to purchase rare goods from other parts of the empire. These goods range from adventuring supplies to powerful equipment. Unfortunately, trade routes can experience quite some delays due to monster invasions, and the shop catalog can only be updated slowly. However, my lord... Our shop workers can follow adventures for speed-up trades on successful adventures. In other words, more successful adventures mean more frequent shop catalog updates, and the more challenging the adventures are, the better products we can stock up on. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Is anybody ready for a level up over here? I'm going to level up the healer real fast. I think that leveling up the healers... Oh, no, we have the legendary staff. Give that to him. Yeah, legendary staff infection right there. And then he can level up again? Well, you might as well level him up again then. I see no reason not to just dump points into people. And so he's level 4. He'll get a talent pretty soon. But now we've got a healer. And so maybe I can spend some of those delicious rage points on healing people up if the fight is going poorly. Products from all over the Empire are sold. Make one purchase in the shop. Where's the shop at? Oh, it's over here. I don't have any money right now. Adds a gem socket to an armor or weapon. So that's where the feather comes in, I guess. That sounds pretty good. Let's go adventure. Have we unlocked anything else? Oh, we've got level 3 adventures right there. Let's do the level 2 adventure one more time because I'm a little bit worried about my safety. Put, yeah, put the missionary in this squad. Confirm that, and then we'll start the level 2 adventure. Just because I want to get, like, one more level up before we go any deeper down into the disparity that goes in this dungeon. So he's got Rage of Holiness, and then he's got Prey. Oh, cool. So he just, like, heals people randomly. Sounds like a plan. Beat that dude down real fast. Yep, take him. Oh, he did like an arcane attack right there. Nice. So one point is concerned for every adventurer turn. Two points are concerned for the tactics. When energy reaches zero, the adventure fails. Oh, we must have like really big adventures at some point then. Yeah, let's go ahead and run crash on these guys real fast. Make sure that we're knocking somebody out before we get much deeper. Maybe I should have done the level three. It feels like we're steamrolling through this one without too many problems. There's 60 iron right there, so that sounds all right. I don't really have any negative effects, so I guess I'll just rain daggers down on people for right now. It's kind of like staring daggers, but a little bit more effective. Like, you can stare daggers at people, I guess, if you want, but I think raining down daggers on them will probably eliminate them as your enemies much more effectively than, you know, some other things will. A little bit of healing right there. I kind of like how it's hands-off, though. It sort of reminds me, like, you've got little things that you can dictate and do, but at the same time, the battle kind of culminates all by its lonesome. What did we get? Did we get something good? Ooh, that one's blue. What does blue mean? We got epics. So we got a wizard's wand, a sleek knife, and a normal gem, the monk's eyes. Divine damage enhancement, damage reflection, and vitality. Sweet. I like it, man. This game's kind of like low burn, but at the same time, you can like keep it in a second monitor while you're watching a movie or something and play it. Like I like games like that. Games like that make me happy. Some people like games where you got to micromanage everything, and you got to be touching on all the buttons. I don't really mind. Like, I'm, I'm normally pretty cool with, like, secondary entertainment being up on a monitor to the side or whatever. Let's start another adventure. We're at level 3 right now. We can afford to do this. Ain't nothing bad gonna happen to us out here. We're gonna be alright. Apparently, my priest is way faster than everybody else. 
We get rage from healing. I'm so angry about your wounds. No one will ever wound you like this again, my guy. Nobody will ever wound you like this. Oh, wow. That crash ability is pretty good. I think that crash ability is going to factor very heavily into my strategy from here on out. Hopefully he heals the person who's most wounded. If he does the smart thing... Ooh. Crash, why are you so good at your job right now? Like, why are you so fantastic at allowing me to eliminate my enemies? What have we picked up so far? A little bit of hide and a little bit of ore? Okay, that sounds good. Go ahead and run crash on him. See who we can kill out here. Oh, another crash? Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'm going to keep on crashing. I'm going to keep on crashing. I'm all about that dash and crash life. What does that do? Battle pressure? So as the battle increases, it is currently reduced by zero. Oh, so they get, like, tired the further into the dungeon that they have to go. All right. Uh, we'll go with the middle. A blessed chest. So the rarity of our drops has gotten better. We got some practice points, but not much else. A little bit of a bummer right there, but we got a bunch of practice points now. So let's focus on taking everybody up to level 5 if we can. That sounds alright. So he's at level 5. That means he's got a talent point. So we can make him recover faster. We can give him efficiency. We can give him dodge rate. We can give him agility right there. We can give him some effect mastery. Or we can give him resistance to elements. I'm going to go with rage efficiency. Because, oh, never mind. Not rage efficiency. Take that off. Undo that. No! I can't undo it. It's too late. It's too late. It hurts so bad. It hurts and it stings. It hurts and it stings. I mean, I guess just bang out some more armors that I can sell. And then over here, we've got a sleek knife. We've also got a wizard's wand on that side. I guess make a bunch of knives for now. We'll see if we get anything of good rarity out. We'll kind of just, like, move that along. We do have a lot of assassinos in our group at the moment, so we can hire another person to increase our profits by 11%. We've got practice points right there from the Ronin. Okay. Let's go ahead and approve that. Yeah, I like that. Sounds good to me. Over at the shop, we got some more items too, but I'm kind of broke right now, so unfortunately, I only got 148 kroners. Inside of our adventure menu, we got one rare armor. That's going to increase his elemental resistances, so yeah, equip that. And then on this side, instead of that dagger, so we've got some knives over here. That'll give him a two. That'll give him strength, but he'll lose vitality. Yeah, go ahead and do it. That only gives us one damage anyway, so why not? It looks like the knives are not actually that good. Who would have thought that knives are not that effective at what we're trying to accomplish right now? Hmm. Alright. Well, we'll just get rid of them then. I'm okay with farming up some extra cash if I have to. And we didn't really craft anything rare, so we'll just keep selling and making money. All right, so I think that what I want to do now, we have to buy something from the shop, so let's buy something cheap. There we go. I just wanted to get the quest done so that we could get the free gold. There we go. We got 2,000 gold. My lord, our small town is growing with solid trade routes and a strong adventure team. It's time to expand our residential base. Residents can make dramatic contributions to town development. Okay. Please be noted, my lord, that our town may provide hospitality for a limited number of residents. It's also logical to occasionally dispel residents when their contributions are no longer needed for the town. It may seem cruel, but these measures are inevitable if we want to make the town more prosperous and strong. I can live with that. That sounds alright. It's 2,000 gold for that vacancy? Oof. I guess we'll get another vacancy then. That's what they wanted me to spend my money on, so I guess... You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. It's time to adventure! Let's get back out here and let's, let's let's do some damage to these enemies. Let's speed it up, though, too. I like it when the game runs fast. A little bit of rage right there. A little bit of damage out. Let's go ahead and crash on them. Yup. I think crash just got cheaper as far as rage goes, too, so that's really nice. I don't really want to waste much else, so just keep, like, normal attacking. And hopefully we don't take too much damage from these little random dudes coming after us. We've got some highs right there for making some armor, so that looks good. Go ahead and run crash on these guys right there. We one-shotted one of them, so that's pleasurable. A little bit of damage out right there, too. It looks like we're making progress. All right, so run crash, too. I want some more damage out. Oh, we're fighting bosses on, like, the third level now. Nasty. Uh, rain some daggers down on them. That sounds like a plan. Honestly, the addition of the healer has made this a lot easier on us, though, too. 
Keep stacking up some rage. I'm glad the fights are getting longer because we could use the resources. Eh, kill who you can over here. Like, I don't really care how crazy it has to be in order to wipe people out. Just make it happen, Captain. I'm going to run crash on you. Ooh, we're getting efficient out here. You know, this guy was kind of a sleeper. I didn't think he was going to be as good as he is. But honestly, he's carrying the group right now. Like, he's the main reason why these fights are so much shorter than they normally are. Go ahead and run that right there. Run that right there. Yup, keep that force going out. I want things to be hurting out here. Perfect. Go with the middle slot. Ooh, we got a good blue bag right there. Nice. So we got a Soulbringer's Stone. We've got a curved wand that's rare, and then we got the wooden wand. I think we already had the wooden wand thing. On this side, we'll slow the game down. We can increase profits on armor by 11.7. Go ahead and do it just to get the quest done. And so that'll give us 2,500 gold. My lord, our scout has located purple skin orcs in the wooden forest. It's time for us to fight back. Purple skin is quite a brutal creature. Be prepared, my lord. Okay, that sounds all right. I guess we'll kill purple orcs somewhere inside of there. We also got some free practice points, so... Sounds good. Let's continue our quest to put everybody up to level 5. So he's at level 5. He's got a talent. I wanted him to be efficient with rage. And then for you, with your talent, we weren't really using you for much else. Instead, what does that mean right there? What's above his head right now? Like, what does it mean that he has that right there? Is he drunk right now? Bro, did you get shit-faced before an adventure? I'm going to increase his critical chance, and then we're going to try and make him extra critted out. I guess make some more armors. I need money right now. Some moolahs would be great. I kind of want to keep gambling with the knives, too, because I have so many assassins that I think I might be able to turn that into something good. Like, as of right now, we've been running, like, all kinds of staves on everybody, but knives sound good as well. Like, knives sound really good, so we'll keep that moving. Yep, keep doing your thing. I believe in you. Get me the loots so that I can scoots on over to my inventory menu and see if we got anything good. So we got one rare knife right there. Not what I was going for. But still. We can equip that on him and hopefully that helps out with his kill ability. We didn't get any rare armors or anything. He's got vitality. Elemental resistance. We can actually just sell all of this. Doesn't even matter. If nothing else, it's an excuse to grab ourselves a little bit of money. Uh, sell all of the same type right there. We've got a curved wand on that side, but we don't really have any casters. We've got the healer, but he's got the legendary staff already, so like, why worry about it? And then if I go to the armor shop, can I make any cloaks right now? I can't make any cloaks? Okay. Never mind. Inside of here, we can pick up magical accessories. Friendly units have a 20% chance of returning back to life when killed. Okay, targeting friendly units. The wearer's skill has one extra target. That'd be really good for our healer. That sounds like something that we could throw onto him. No problem. There we go. So now he double heals. Aw, uh, yeah. At least that's how I think that works. Let's go adventure and test it out. Let's try it. They can't stop us. No one can stop this. Like they said in Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. Let's go ahead and speed it on up. I kind of like that speed right there. That feels... Oh my god, it double heals. My life is such a happy well of happiness right now. Go ahead and wipe them out real quick. We're going to get the rage back anyways. Because we all the rage up inside of here. Eh, go ahead and keep whooping on them. I think they did a good job with the tutorial in this game, kind of getting you into the flow of like how things work. Like Some games do not have good tutorials, and it can be challenging getting yourself into a position where you understand what's going on with the game. This one's doing a really good job of like slowly preparing you for all the different little struggles and things you're going to go across while you play the game. Looks good to me. Deadly Blade goes out. I'm going to throw some of those out there and see if I can wipe them out nice and early. Doesn't look like they're able to get through our healing capacity, so hey, no harm, no foul. I think we're in a really good spot right now. Is that a purple orc or is that a blue orc? He looked kind of blue to me, so I'm not completely convinced that he's purple, given what I know from my kindergarten education. That one's definitely green, so like, I don't know, just keep whooping on him, man. Don't even stress about what we got going on right now. 
Was that the boss fight? I think that was the boss fight. That one? I got the blue bag. I don't know if the blue bag, I think the orange bag is probably what we're going for. So we got a normal sword right there. It's just a sword that's perpendicular to whatever angle you lay it at. That's all that it is. Just keep that in mind. It's a mathematical blade. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Dragon Cliff. If you guys like what you saw so far, by all means, check it out down below in the description. I will see you all later. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. How you doing? Take care, everybody. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video. Bye!